best productive vibe. quite the eventful morning because we have officially started the PCS process. We have like our pack out dates. We know when everything is happening. We're going to start selling our cars. We're getting our cats ready. It's just a lot. It's a big process, but I wanted to document it a to look back on because this is just going to be such a huge part of our lives that we are going to look back on and b to share um this process and how everything turns out if you're new here my name is katie i'm 23 years old and i live in okinawa with my husband my two cats we have lived here for almost three years and like i said it's coming to an end pretty soon i started the day with kind of a chaotic workout because i needed to get home to go to their vet appointments because after the cats get their shots you're not really supposed to leave them at home for a very long time so i went to the gym super quick we went to the vet and now they don't feel very well you can see matilda behind me she's sleeping in here and pepper's sleeping in her dad's room we actually started organizing all of the stuff that we need to like sell and donate in the house yesterday but we went through like all of our documents all of our closets just like random things when we first moved in we moved in knowing we were only going to be here for three years and we didn't actually have that much stuff because when we lived we lived in yakota previously but we didn't live together so when we moved here we started like fresh so everything we have here is pretty much stuff that we bought here and accumulated and we don't have kids just the cat so we don't have like a ton of things but we definitely have a lot of things to downgrade on today we are gonna go to the thrift store but before we do that i'm gonna start going through this other closet because the first closet i went through had a lot of like our house stuff like our home decor our christmas decorations a lot of aid and stuff but this closet on the other hand this is all clothes I need to either sell or donate and it doesn't look like that much on camera but it's a lot <laughs> it is a lot I always go through my stuff like I'm a big organizer I love to like reduce the amount of things that I've had but the problem is is every time I would decide I didn't want a clothing I would put it in this closet and I'd be like oh my god it's fine like I'm just gonna sell it or whatever but there's some things that I've been holding on for for like two years because I just haven't gotten to it so yeah it is quite the project <laughs> but also what we have going on this is all stuff we organized yesterday of things to donate and everything that we're donating is really really nice stuff like we have a lot of nice organizers an air fryer we just never use we have like a whole set of magic bullet 
um, blender things and that was a gift so I'd love to just pass it on to somebody some adult coloring books like a zoodler just a lot of really nice like we have like a coffee maker really nice things that would be lovely for somebody else but we don't need and I don't want to hang on to because we're trying to go to Washington with as little things as possible so this stuff we're going to donate today, but before we donate, I want to go through my clothes and see like what I want to sell versus donate. This is all stuff we have to throw away, and I know it looks like a lot, but a lot of it is like uniforms that Aiden can't even give to somebody because they're pretty much ruined. There's like an old bag in there we have to throw away. Matilda actually peed in this suitcase and we were supposed to throw it away a long time ago But we've been putting it off so we still need to deal with that We definitely have our work cut out for us for this weekend So this is not gonna be like a fun exploring Okinawa weekend, but we're still gonna have fun of course because You know, it'll be eventful and I know this weekend at some point We are accumulating a list of things that we want to get before we move So I know this weekend we're probably gonna hit up like Parco Mall Canes a couple of those places because there's some like appliances and like specific Japanese things we want Before they pick pack us out. So that'll be fun. So it's still gonna be a fun vlog just a little bit more, you know PCS themes. I think we're gonna start in my room of just like going through every item of clothing I have and seeing what I should sell versus donate. store and honestly that was like the easiest process ever we actually tried to take our stuff to the thrift store last christmas when aiden's parents were visiting not this past christmas but the christmas before that and the donations were closed so then we just like put it up in shelves and then forgot about it but this time they were finally open we got that stuff off so we did something productive today if you saw the vlog the last vlog i said i was gonna make like a chicken shrimp pasta and this is what it is it's really good actually i think for the rest of the night i'm just gonna finish my video and clean up a bit and then tomorrow we have a busy day i'm getting my car detailed i'm getting lunch with my friend betsy which she's never been in a vlog before isn't that crazy that's pretty crazy that is <laughs> so crazy <laughs> but i'm getting uh lunch with my friend and then we're gonna be full like pcs selling mode so See you tomorrow when we are productive. Okay, it's already 9.30. I need to head out in a second. As usual, I'm always late. I'm about to head out to drop my car off at the detailing place to get my car detailed so we can sell it. And then I'm gonna get lunch with my friend Betsy, who I haven't seen in a long time. Good morning. We are heading over to a cafe. I've only been to one time, but it was super cute. And I just like woke up in the mood for breakfast. We are gonna have a productive day. We're gonna continue the PCS productive vibe, but I'm uncaffeinated. So <laughs> coffee and breakfast first, and then I'll update you on what's going on.
we're back from our little outing i am literally kicking myself because right after we went to the cafe which was lovely by the way highly recommend um we went to this like japanese home store and i didn't think to vlog because the reason we went is aiden's going camping this afternoon and he had to pick up wood so i thought we were literally just gonna go in go out like get wood but then we spent like maybe like an hour there it was just the funniest home store if you live in japan or if you're familiar with japan they have a place called make men's which is like basically like a japanese home depot but it has more stuff and it was very similar to that but even more kind of like it was cheaper it was like i don't know how to explain it i'm definitely gonna have to take you guys there eventually because they had a ton of stuff and there's a lot of things that we want to buy we just weren't gonna buy it today but i'm kicking myself i didn't bring you in because we just had like the best time in there but anyways other than wood we did get a couple of things that i want to show you really quick they had some of the cutest little dishes and i'm trying not to buy too too much because like obviously we're leaving soon but things like japanese dishes i want to get before we leave because i just want to have these things to have when we move which i don't even want to think about it it's so sad but i saw this bowl and i just i had to have it and obviously i had to get two because duh also they had this whole like international food section it was so random but they had a whole um thai section and i found this big thing of coconut water and it was like less than 400 yen which is cheaper than at the commissary so i figure why not this is random but i also got a new sponge because how cute is that okay this is the funniest thing i got for 500 yen i'm gonna put the conversion here so you can see there's this little section that had red socks mariners and yankee stuff and obviously we're moving to seattle we're mariners fans or we're supposed to be <laughs> um, and i found the funniest little mariners jacket for 500 yen is this not the funniest thing ever people are gonna be like where'd you get that i'm gonna be like literally 500 yen at this random store in japan like yesterday i didn't end up recording that much because i thought it was gonna be like my super productive day and i did have productive things i did like i got my video up and that kind of stuff it always takes me so long to like make the thumbnail make an instagram reel make a story post do the description like all that stuff just takes a lot of time also where i got my car detailed he lives all the way out in okinawa city and when it's raining the traffic just gets really bad and like traffic in okinawa already sucks so that just took a lot of time and then we just had like a chill night i'm still gonna have a very productive day today i really failed the other day trying to take pictures of my stuff but now that it's kind of sunny outside i think i can take some good pictures of my clothes that is like the biggest thing i need to get done today Okay, this time around, I think I'm just gonna lay everything out super nice and then take the pictures. I think the other day I was just overwhelmed because I didn't have a system, but I cleaned up my room so it's nice and tidy. I'm gonna lay out everything in like categories and then take the pictures and see where it goes. So, yeah. Trees are in green, the ocean is gray, sky is a vague blue, come my way. My room is a mess, it could use a hand, my favorite TV shows to capture I know I must get it right, must get back in the fight, this can't be a surprise. I think I'll let it slide. I'm on my pcs stuff but i just didn't are like the things that i'm selling i haven't actually posted anything yet but i was just working on like taking pictures of stuff today 
and getting everything ready to post there's just you saw the pile there's so much to sell and i don't know why it's like so hard for me to just commit to posting everything i just know once i post something it's gonna be an overwhelming flood of like messages and stuff and just like i just don't want to deal with it but i have to but I don't want to. At eight o'clock, my friend made some reservations for me and a couple of my friends from work. We're going to this Italian restaurant called Kobe's and then maybe going out after. And to be completely honest, I really was not, like I've been kind of dreading it all day and it's nothing to do with the people I'm going out with. We're trying to save money because we're PCSing and I don't want to spend money on a taxi and stuff. Cause I think I already mentioned, but Aiden left to go camping. So it's, I'm on my own. I got to call a taxi there. I got to call a taxi back and it's totally Totally fine. I think I was just getting in my head because I was like, you're supposed to be saving money and this is not very like frugal of you, but I realized like I don't do this very often and um, I should just like enjoy my time here. It's not like I'm going to spend hundreds of dollars, so I need to just like get out of my head. I've just, I don't know if it's because I'm so used to being like super busy and I've been kind of like adjusting to not being as busy. And it's a weird thing. Cause when I was super busy, I was in full-time school. I was working, we were traveling a lot. Like I was complaining all the time about how busy I was. And now I'm not busy and I like miss being busy. I feel like my brain is too busy when I'm not doing what I want to do. It's not that we're not doing anything because we're definitely busy with like the tasks we need to do, but it's not like school where it's like deadlines and like work I have to be at. I kind of miss it a little bit. I can't believe I'm saying that. Anyways, all that to say, I'm going out tonight. I chose an outfit, but I haven't gotten ready yet. And I was thinking while I'm getting ready, I might make like a cheeky little cocktail. Just something cute, something petite you know just to get me in the mood but I also I haven't drank alcohol since my the vlog where you saw me go out with my friends to that like Korean bar that was like almost a month ago I think and I haven't drank since then so I'm gonna grab this stuff but I don't have like a lot of like cocktail type stuff so we're just gonna make do with what we have this is the bar cart we have it does have teas and coffees and like shot glasses and stuff like this we're gonna go for this tequila so this is just gonna be like Maybe like a tequila spritz, I guess you could say. I don't even think this would be considered a margarita. I'm just kind of making this up as I go. Okay, two shots of vodka. Two shots of vodka. If you know, you know. Is that a lot? I feel like that's not a lot. And then we're gonna do some of this coconut water. Lime. It's not very much in there. I also have a little bit of sparkling water left. Hopefully that maybe dilutes it a little bit. I don't know. Ice. All right. <laughs> Let's see how this is. It's not good. <laughs> I have this keto sugar. Let's see if this helps. <laughs> oh, not bad. Okay, I'm gonna drink this, I'm gonna get ready, and I will see you when we get Italian food. All right, taxi's here. Gotta go. Monday. I didn't end up recording yesterday because we really didn't do anything interesting. Both of us didn't get a lot of sleep, so we were just kind of tired and we just um, hung out, cleaned the house, you know, all that good stuff. But the PCS vlog will be continuing today, but today will be a little bit more fun because we're actually going shopping. I think I mentioned it before, but there's some things we want to buy before 
we move and get packed out so today we're gonna go to the mall and get go get those things just like some house stuff for what and whatnot but also we're finally gonna go to the poke bowl place that i've been wanting to go to we're going to mr kato which we went to in the last vlog or the vlog before that but we like to go their breakfast was good but like we specifically like to go for the poke bowls and i've been dying to show it so we're gonna go get some poke bowls, maybe a coffee at Stick By Me, and then go to the mall. Also, it's Super Bowl Sunday, but like, it's Monday morning because we're in Japan. I've never actually celebrated the Super Bowl on Sunday. It's always been a Monday morning thing, so this is like super normal for us. But we're not really like football people, so we're just gonna take advantage of Aiden's day off and yeah, have a good day. So let's go get some food because I'm starving and maybe some coffee obviously. parked on the roof so we could take pictures of all the angles of my car but now that i'm leaving i can finally show my car and i don't really care now we're back at parko city when are we not here i feel like we're here all the time and like i said earlier we are coming here to buy things that we want before we leave i made a little list but our list basically consists of kitchen utensils we're getting a couple things for um, family, like matcha powder and stuff like that. So we're probably gonna do most of our shopping at Tokyo, Tokyo Hands, but we're just gonna let Parko decide what we need as well. So let's go shopping. Not the Stanley. Yikes. I like this. I actually like the burnt orange. I feel like I put studio clip in every vlog where I go shopping, but they just have like the cutest home stuff. Like look how cute everything is. Cute plants. Actually, the last time I came here, I bought every single mug. Stop it right now. Okay, if you know me, you know. I am the crazy cat lady, and I need this. Look, it looks like Matilda. There's no tuxedo, though. <gasps> there is a tuxedo! <laughs> Kyoto and Aichi, Japan. I think she'd appreciate it. smells like straight strawberries. It's very manly. He's looking for a lunchbox because he's probably going to be working really long shifts.
back home. We had a very successful outing, but we did not know that the whoa. We did not know that today was a Japanese holiday, so it was like a little bit crazy. We got a lot of stuff, and if you like my channel for the hauls, this is the video for you because we have a grocery haul. We have a mall haul. Uh, so I'm going to show you everything we got. We didn't get everything we were looking for, but we still have two more weeks to shop for things. So I didn't want to buy anything prematurely before like we knew like exactly what we wanted. So I'm going to start with food first so I can put things away. We do have a more interesting grocery haul today, I would say, um, because we got some like home stuff at the grocery store a lot of people don't know but they have like a whole like section for pots and pans and cups and containers and stuff like that so we got some fun things and then after that i'm going to show you everything we got at the mall and if you didn't know i put everything in the timestamps. so if you wanted to skip the grocery haul you can like look in the timestamps and then skip to the mall haul just an fyi but i mean I would love if you watch, but you know. Anyways, starting with, if you watch my videos a lot, this is going to be a lot of familiar stuff, but we are just creatures of habit, you know? <laughs> so, starting with this, we got some pork chops for Aiden's lunch. We always get New Zealand beef for steak. Then we got some salmon, and this one was 100 yen off, so what a deal then we got this like chunk of new zealand beef because we're gonna make curry so i'm gonna like cube this up to put in curry we got some beautiful pink eggs and i love this because it literally has says sakura sakura me i think uh, on it and they're pink like sakura they didn't have the usual milk that we got so i just got this one because it says oishi on it <laughs> one low fat milk for my protein shakes we're making curry in this, I think, I haven't made curry in a while, but I'm pretty sure this is my favorite curry cubes. I also got some tofu that I think I'm going to stir fry with the salmon. Not like stir fry it, but just like on the side. Bananas. This is the soap we buy, but it's really fun because the top is a paw print and all you do is like press down and then it ends up being a paw print on your hand we got two of these because we're giving one to a gift for someone once we get back to washington and then we wanted to just have an extra one on hand just in case we have two but like you can never have too many you know two carrots for the curry oh if you saw the last uh vlog or maybe it was two vlogs back i got this banana milk so I wanted to get it again as a little treat. It's banana soy milk. And then Aiden got this regular milk from Hokkaido. And then we got some mushrooms for the curry. We also got potatoes for the curry. Our new favorite kimchi just to eat. And probably with our salmon we'll eat this. Two cucumbers. Aiden's yakult uh probiotic drinks tomatoes for salad they have this whole like container section at sane and i've been slowly collecting these glass containers from sane just because i'm trying to shift all my stuff to glass or stainless steel i don't really want to have plastic so i ended up getting two of these which are just perfect for like meal prep and stuff and i don't have any of this shape so love that this is aiden's favorite little like sandwich snack it's basically peanut it's peanut butter but m emphasis on the butter it kind of tastes like a whipped peanut butter like peanut butter with butter if that makes sense always get a tansan sui sparkling water i don't know why i can't just say sparkling water i'm like it's a tansan sui two kales i'm gonna make some salad strawberries look how pretty these are Oh my gosh. I always have to get a bag of Mekons because they're just the best. I got these pizza chips that I will try on camera later, which I'm very excited about. Lastly, we're sending a box to Aiden's mom. So we just got a couple of her favorite snacks. We got these rice cracker crunchies. Two of those. These are candied sweet potato chips. And as always, the price is here. And that is including the containers and the soap as well. All right, groceries are put away and I drank my banana milk. So we're ready to haul the rest of the goods. 
And so is Matilda. You can't see what she just jumped up here. Starting off with the tea store. Um, my mother-in-law, Lisa, she requested some matcha tea. So, and she also likes sencha, which is like the green tea leaves. So we got her this um, low caffeine sencha tabi makura original brand, original blend in a cute little tin. And then we also got her this um, matcha nishio from Aichi, Japan. It's matcha powder. And she said that this is the more mild one. And knowing Lisa, I'm pretty sure this will be like more her vibe. And then we got matcha uji tarwara from Kyoto, Japan. So this one's going to be a little bit more strong. And then lastly, Aiden got this tea. It's called the yummy tea. It's like a strawberry and vanilla Roy Boyce. Roy, <laughs> I can't say it. Roy Boyce tea. Very good. At Starry Home, we got these two really cute glasses. I don't know if you can tell, but they're kind of like textured. And they're the perfect size for my coffee. And then... They also have the knives that we use there, and Aiden wanted to get a smaller knife. He just got this so that we could complete our little knife collection. The star of the show is always Tokyo Hands because we just love that store. They just have everything, like the most epic stationery section, the most epic backpack area. Like I almost bought a backpack because I wanted this one backpack so bad, but I was like, Katie, like you have a backpack, it's okay, it's like, yeah, I need to chill, but they just have everything so we both got new lunch boxes because the job that aiden's going to be working it's not confirmed yet but most likely like the job that he will be going into after he gets out of the military is going to be like 12 hour shifts so we wanted to get him a big lunch box that he can kind of like put multiple meals snacks drinks all that in so we got this one very cute and from what I remember it was pretty affordable yeah only 2,500 yen so I got one from thermos and then it's the same thing insulated and with a little pocket so we found these cute little silverware sets with stainless steel silverware and they're also made in Japan so we love that and then we are replacing all of our utensils with stainless steel so I got a new whisk a new stainless steel ladle and lastly a stainless steel spatula i also got these cat little sticky notes and then also we just got an assortment for cards for people so we got this one this one is so cute it has like a little calico cat looking at the sakura trees this one and they all pop out as well. And then lastly, we found this Children's Day card, which is super cute. And it turns in to a garland. Like, how precious is that? I think that's everything that we got from the store. So let me just regroup, and then I'll probably catch you guys in a little bit. As promised, I said I would try these on camera, so I have to give you my full 100% raw real opinion. Food critique. <laughs> Ooh, it smells like pizza. It's giving ruffles. I don't know if it's giving pizza. It's good. I was expecting it to be like pizza. Just like barbecue. Barbecue? I don't know. Mm, yeah, kind it's of. Like, it's like barbecue. Ruffles. Yeah, it kind of tastes like a barbecue chip. I like it, but it doesn't taste like pizza. But I would still recommend, honestly. Mm. I hope you had fun coming on the last few days with us while we prepare to PCS. The next video will be super fun because Aiden's dad is visiting for the weekend, which I'll explain in the next video why he's here because it's just going to be for two days, but that's going to be super fun. 
very eventful, more like travel vibe. So stay tuned for that. But as always, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.